Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I look a little bit different I think. I tried to overline my lips for the first time like ever and I can't really decide on whether it looks okay or not. Like I don't want the lip liner to be darker than my lips because I don't really like that look. But because I've never done it before I don't know if it just looks like one of those people that doesn't know how to use a lip pencil. Um, obviously I know that my lips don't look like this so to me it looks a bit weird but I don't feel like it looks that bad for a first try. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it on for the video. Today, I'm gonna to be testing the Mystical Eye Heart Revolution eyeshadow palette. And I am very slowly working my way through all six of these little eyeshadow palettes because I have all six and I've already done videos on the pink one and the blue one. So I thought I'd also do the purple one today. I really, really like these palettes. I think they're five pounds each, which is such a good price. Um, there's nine eyeshadows in here. And they're just really cute. And I'm pretty sure they are like a dupe for the little Colourpop ones. And these are a fraction of the price. So if you like Colourpop and you're in the UK and you don't want to spend a ton of money like me, then I would recommend these. I am actually debating spending a lot of money on Revolution. I've got 92 pounds worth of stuff in my basket and I'm like, do I really need it? So <laughs> I don't know, but I, do, I just really like Revolution as a brand. So today I'm testing their mini purple eyeshadow palette. So compared to the pink one, there's actually a real variety of shades here and it's kind of making it harder for me to choose what look to do. I really like that one there, but that's more like pinky, I think. And then I really like that there, but I don't know how I'd like use those two together. So I don't think I'll use that one today, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do that one on the outer corner to begin with. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush that already has quite a similar shade on it and just pop that on my outer corner. Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm just gonna put on some eyeshadow primer. I never used to actually use eyeshadow primer, but I've really been liking it lately. I think it makes my eyeshadow a bit brighter and I think it just keeps it on better. Okay, so that's that shade and I really, really like that. It blends out to like a really nice purple as well. So I'm kind of stuck for what shade to like blend out into the inner corner because like the next shade down is that like gray one just below it, which I don't know would, I don't know if that would look right, but I might try it anyway. If not, then I'll use like the ready pink in the top there. Yeah, I think I'll just use the pink because you can't really, it's not really showing up. So I'm just gonna use that darker pinky color below it, but I'm gonna try and put it on very lightly. Okay, so I actually really like that combination of colors. I did use the wrong sh like wrong type of brush to blend it with, so it is kind of looking a bit patchy on that side. Um, but I am gonna do the classic cut crease and then use two different shimmers on my lid as I do for all of my videos. I really don't know how to vary my eyeshadow looks because that just seems to be what I'm going for all the time. It's just like two colors on the lid and then a half cut crease and then two shimmers over the cut crease, if that makes any sense. Um, so I don't really know, I've kind of like a bit out of practice because I used to do eyeshadow quite a lot but now I've kind of fallen into that routine of just doing the same type of look all the time. So I don't know, I think with the next one I might try and do something different. But then again, having like nine similar shades I feel like that's the kind of best way to get the most out of the palette, if you see what I mean? So I don't know. So I'm just gonna quickly do my half cut crease. It always looks like such a mess once I do my cut crease but it's fine, we put glitter over it anyway, so you can't really tell. So I'm actually gonna take that one closer to my inner corner and then I'm feeling this like really dark purple shimmer shade there. So I'm gonna pop that on my like main part of my lid. I'm gonna start off with a flat brush to try and get into the corners and then finish it off with my finger.
Okay, so that one went on quite well in the corner. And then I'm, I'm gonna use the other side of the same brush to apply the dark purple shimmer. So these shades actually apply surprisingly well with a flat brush because I usually find with shimmers that they don't apply at all with a flat brush but with these little palettes I find that they actually do surprisingly. But I am obviously still just going to finish off with my finger just so it's a little bit more shimmery. Okay so I'm looking extremely purple. Um, I'm just going to go back in with the first shade I used and just like blend it out properly. I'm also just going to put the... oh my god. I'm also just going to put that shade um, like very slightly along my lower lash line. When I don't have a small brush, I like pinch it so it makes it a small brush. And just to complete the look, I am going to add some liner and lashes. I will try and do a close up, but I know it doesn't really focus what I like after I start recording. But this is how it's looking. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the purple shade because I've had a lot of people say that... Um, like that colour is quite hard to formulate and it comes out patchy quite a lot of the time but I don't know if it looks patchy on camera but in real life it just, it's kind of just worked perfectly really. So I'm just going to put some liner and lashes on and be back. So this is the complete look with eyeliner and lashes. Um, my eyeliner is actually running out so it's not looking the best on that side. As for the eyeshadow, I really liked it. Um, I don't know, they're just really easy to work with so I keep making videos on them. Again only five pounds brilliant quality out of the ones i've tried i think the blue one is probably my favorite so far because that had like more of a variety in shades and it also had the gold in there which looks really nice with the blue so i really like that one um this one i quite like but just because it's like quite different i feel like you don't really see purple eyeshadows that often so i quite like that yeah hopefully you did enjoy today's video if you did go and check out the other ones because like i said I'm going to do a review on all of the little Heartbreaker palettes just because they're so cute. And I will link that somewhere. I'll just make a playlist and like link it somewhere if I know how to. But again, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.